in America, this is my friend. Say hello to everybody in America. Hello. So, bonjour. Bonjour, les Américains. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new friend. That's my new friend. Sans nous fou? Sans fou. Sans fou. That's my friend. Sans fou. Okay, say bye to everybody. Bonsoir, c'est sans fou. <laughs> No, 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 no. Ah, uh, mon nom. Yeah, uh, name. No, no, no. Mon nom, no. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, and then, uh, Numa, number. Oh, My bed, uh-huh. Oh, bon. Okay. Merci. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Y'all saw me in my uh, my international pimping uh, over here in Ivory Coast. I got the number. She don't speak no English, but it's okay. We're going to figure it out. Okay, I'm back. Should, should a black American man or woman, <laughs> if they want an African husband or wife, should they find one on the continent or find one in America? I will recommend finding one on the continent. If you want, if you yourself, if you're looking to build and relocate to the continent, find an African man or woman that's already on the continent, that's already established. Because the ones in America, for some reason, they just, you know, they have so much unfinished business to take care of. You know, that's why they can't really... Uh, get it cracking on a continent, you know, like you may want to. So it just depends. But if you just want to live that Africa lifestyle in America, then by all means, find one that's in America. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this and found some value in this. You know, again, I think this format is better versus answering the same questions over and over uh, by email. So like I said, headed to the airport in Ivory Coast, Port d'Ivoire, about to catch a flight to uh, Nigeria. All right, everybody, Dynasty Mirror, search for Huru. Peace.